Hello guys! So, welcome back to my channel. I hope all of you are having a wonderful day today. So, to all my long-time viewers, thank you so much for sticking with me. And if you're new to my channel, I'm Howell Rodriguez and I do sneaker review. So, if you're interested on in that, I hope you'll consider subscribing. And if you like this video, you can also hit that like button because it will help my channel to grow. Okay, so for today's video, I'll be reviewing this Air Jordan 1 Low OG UNC or Dark Powder Blue. Okay guys, so before we start, shout out to Aris Romano. Thank you so much for sending me this pair. So for those of you who are looking for this pair or other stickers, just visit his Facebook account. Okay, going back to this Air Jordan 1 Low OG UNC. This was released here in Taiwan last July 31st. But if I'm not mistaken, this is set to release next month in the US. And the retail of this is 4,500 NT or 8,280 pesos. This is more expensive than the retro one because of some details and materials that they use on this. Okay, so I'll give you a quick comparison between the OG and the retro. So to give an idea to others. First, let's check the box. The Retro comes with black box with gold Jumpman logo on top while the OG comes with black box with red Nike logo on top. Then when it comes to leather quality, the leather of the OG is softer compared to the Retro. On the Retro, the leather is a bit stiff. Then the cut of the OG on the ankle part is lower than the retro. On the tongue, the tongue of the retro is longer with Jumpman logo, while on the OG, it is shorter with Nike Air logo. Then at the back, their design is different and placement of Wings logo. On the retro, it is on the middle, while on the OG, it is on the top. Okay guys, so those are some of the differences between the retro and the OG. And now the Air Jordan 1 lows are continuously becoming more and more popular, especially the OG lows, because it is perfect for summer, and lately, they release a lot of good colorways. And now, they gave us this, which is really good. And one thing about this, is that this is really like the Air Jordan 1 Low Travis and Fragment collaboration. Just without the reverse whoosh and the vintage look midsole. Okay, so with all that being said, Let's check now more of the details of this Air Jordan 1 Low OG UNC or Dark Powder Blue. The Air Jordan 1 Low OG UNC comes with black box with red Nike logo on top and on the sides. Just like the box of the other Jordan 1 High. The shoes itself is really nice and also the materials that they use on it. Going to the front side of the shoes, we'll see this white toe box with perforations and black smooth leather on the toe guard up to the eye stays.
This Air Jordan 1 Low OG UNC comes with black laces lace on it and an extra powder blue laces on its new packaging. Before these extra laces are placed on a plastic, but this time, they put it on this recyclable box. Actually, I also saw somebody put on a cream laces on this, and it looks good with it, just like the Travis Scott logo. Then under those laces, we have this low-cut black nylon tongue with powder blue Nike tag on top. Moving to our lateral and medial sides, we have this white leather quarter panel and black leather swoosh. What you can see on the lateral side is just the same with the middle side. Then at the back, you'll see this powder blue heel with Jordan Wings logo stamped on top, which is one of my favorite details of the shoes. Inside, we have this soft black mesh sack liner and white insole with powder blue Nike Air logo. At the bottom, this pair has a white midsole and powder blue outsole with Nike Air logo at the middle. That's the details of this Air Jordan 1 Low OG UNC or dark powder blue. Okay guys, so I think this Air Jordan 1 Low OG UNC or dark powder blue is one of the nicest colorways of the Air Jordan 1 Low that they released. It has this black toe color blocking which is my favorite and I think it really looks good on Air Jordan 1. Some of the details that I like about this are the Wings logo at the back, the low cut tongue, and this Nike Air tag. Those details for me makes it more special. And then as I've said, this Air Jordan 1 Low is like the Air Jordan 1 Low Travis and Fragment collaboration, which is very expensive right now. So if you're like me, who like the Air Jordan 1 Low Travis but don't have the budget, you might want to check this one out because it really looks like it. Okay, so that's it for my review on this Air Jordan 1 Low OG UNC or Dark Powder Blue. So if you like this video, don't forget to hit that like button because it will help my channel to grow. And also you can hit that notification bell so you'll be notified on my next video or my next sneaker review. Okay, so shout out to Pinoy Sneakerheads in Taiwan, to all the members and to all the admins. And to Aris Romano, thank you so much for your continued support. And also to DJ Force of Forcewear. Thank you for this solid shirt. Actually, this shirt will perfectly match this pair. So if you like this shirt, just DM him on his Facebook account. Okay, so that's it. See you on my next video. Bye!